Whenever we talk about convective transport, it depends, it must rely on the movement of the fluid. That means you have mass, and the mass itself is carried by the flow of the fluid. The fluid will flow that mass from one point to another. Okay? So, your fluid is supposed to have velocity. So, suppose you have fluid moving in this direction with this much velocity. Okay? So, the mass that is carried with this fluid supposed to have the same velocity as the fluid, right? Just imagine you have a piece of plastic bead flowing along the stream of fluid. The bead itself supposed to flow in the same velocity as the fluid. If you consider like that, that means you look for convective transport only. But in reality, the atom or the mass of molecule can also move by itself. So now you need to imagine instead of a piece of plastic flowing along the flow of stream, you need to look, I mean change the perception into a flowing of maybe a fish. Fish itself, if it does not move, it will flow along the stream with the same velocity as the stream. But it can also move in any direction it wants, right? So by itself, if the stream is stationary, that means you have a fish tank, the movement of the fish is represented by molecular transport. The movement of the current is represented by this. So these two must be combined. So if your fish uh, swim along the current, its net velocity is supposed to be velocity from its own muscle plus velocity from the stream. If the fish move against the current, these two are supposed to have different signs, right? Okay, so for this particular moment, we look into this part only. So we assume that our molecule does not move. It must be carried or be swept by the current. And suppose the current has velocity V, all right? Now, V here can be taken into three different directions, Vx, Vy, Vc. If I consider a screen on an opening on an area with the area ds, suppose this f through this area can be calculated from the velocity itself multiplied by the cross-section area multiplied by density, right? If you have a pipe, the linear velocity can be calculated into mass flow rate by simply multiplying by the cross-section area turn into volumetric flow rate and take volumetric flow rate multiplied by density, you get mass flow rate, okay? So in this case, density multiplied by cross-section area and multiplied by velocity. If you look for species A only, density here is supposed to be mass concentration of A. Okay? So if you repeat the same process for X, Y, Z, and you combine them together, you should get mass flow rate of A in all directions combined to be rho A, VA, I'm sorry, VX, DS times vector I. Right? Because mass flow is supposed to be vector. The unit of mass flow rate is supposed to be kilogram of A per second. All right. From here, 
if you divide the whole equation by ds, if you divide by ds, what you get would be kilogram of A per unit area per second, which now is mass flux. Right? So you just cancel ds out and you get rho a times velocity times unit vector. Rho a are common term, are scalar. So you have rho a. The rest will be vxi times added by v a, vyj, vk, vzk, I'm sorry. The rest combined you get vector v. Okay? So v here is now velocity of the fluid. This velocity sweeping your molecules. So if your molecules does not move, it's supposed, I mean, does, does not move by its own. Your molecules now move along the current with the same velocity of the current. The flux itself now depends on how much molecules you have. So it depends on concentration of these molecules. Okay? So this one, this term, will be considered as convective transport of your molecules. Now this one is rho A V. So from there, if you take molecular transport of A and add it by convective transport of A, remember this one was calculated based on the, the assumption that A cannot move. This one is calculated based on the assumption that fluid surrounding A does not move. A alone moves by itself, just like fish in a tank. This is the plastic balls uh, flowing along the current. But if you combine them, that means you allow your molecules to move freely as well as allow the molecules to be swept by the current. Okay? The combination here would be called combined flux. It's, it is represented by variable Na. Okay? Now, JA itself, according to the theory, it is rho A times VA minus average velocity V plus rho A V here. This would be this term. And this term comes here. Okay? If you multiply rho A into the parenthesis here, rho A times V on the second term should cancel out with this third term. And as a result, you get rho A V A. So rho A V A is indeed combined flux. It's a combined flux. Rho A V itself is convective flux. It is a little bit confused. Okay? So if you remember earlier at the very beginning of the class, I draw this picture. When I drew this picture, I told you that mass flux of A should equal to rho A V A. I told you that when you count number of molecules of A passing through the opening here, 
how many molecules or how much mass should pass through this screen depends on concentration and depends on its own velocity. Okay? And you get rho A V A. So that means by counting like this, you stand out and look into the system. You stand stationary and you count how many atoms or how many molecules of A passing through. Indeed, you are looking or you are observing combined flux. Okay? Because when you count like this, you have never considered whether you have flow of fluid or not. Right? So you just care how much A passing through the screen. So that's the net velocity of A. It's already taking account. I mean, if the screen, or I mean, if the fluid move this way, if the flow of the fluid move this way, the number of A molecule passing through here that you count is supposed to be low, right? Why? Because convective flux is swept against the, the location that you are counting. On the other hand, if your molecules of A move quickly by itself, it can swim f faster, you should expect more A to be count. So by counting a stationary point like this, you already Taking, a, taking account of both combined, I mean both convective flux and diffusion flux. Okay? Any question? This is sometimes very confusing because we have similar variables. 